So the next video I want to do is on Fisher information. I know this has been a topic that's come up a lot in office hours and it's something that I don't think a lot of people have a very strong intuitive grasp of what it is. So I'll try to touch a bit on what Fisher information is getting at while also giving you an example of how to solve for what uh, distribution's Fisher information is. Okay, so Fisher info information has two forms, right? So you write I of theta, theta is a parameter, is equal to the expected value, we're taking the expected value with respect to x of the derivative with respect to theta times the natural log of our PDF. Now, take everything on the inside of that expected value, square it. Equivalently, this Fisher info is equal to negative expected value with respect to x. The second derivative, the ln of joint PDF, the density, you don't have to square it. Um, note this second equality is only true under singularity conditions. Um, what are singularity conditions, you may be asking? The short answer is the main condition that will come up for our class is the support of this uh, PDF cannot depend on our unknown parameter. Um, it's kind of like for maximum likelihood estimation, where if the support of the distribution depends on the parameter, then we have to do something special for the MLE. Uh, similarly, for Fisher information, if the support of the distribution depends on the parameter, we cannot use the second quality for the Fisher information. Okay, so what is Fisher info? This is not meant to be a comprehensive explanation of what it is, right? But in very, very concise terms, it tells us how much info much info we gather about an unknown parameter, uh, the theta in the I of theta, that we gather from a sample. Um, just want to graph that out because I think that's the best simple explanation I've ever seen. So this is the log likelihood, right? If it looks like this, right, it's relatively not very steep, right? Well, we know the MLE is here. Right, but there's lots of nearby values that are almost as likely, right? So we would say low Fisher info. But if our log likelihood looks more like this, right? That's our MLE. But note for this one, 
nearby values are less likely to be the MLE or to be the true value, have a comparatively much lower likelihood. So I would you would say this has a high Fisher info. Now a simple example on how to actually calculate a Fisher information. We have that XI are IID Bernoulli random variables with parameter P, right? So you would say the in Fisher info for I guess it's P is our parameter. Notice that I wrote N because it's a sample of size N, right? This is equal to negative expected value with respect to X. The second derivative of the log of the PDF. Right? So when I solve questions like this, I like to work from the inside out, right? So we have uh, the joint PDF because it's a sample of size n, which is equal to the product from i equals 1 to n of the each individual sample, right? So this is equal to the product of p to the xi, 1 minus p to the 1 minus xi, or now making my out way outward with the log of this joint PDF, which is equal to sum of xi's times ln of p plus 1 minus, or sum of 1 minus xi's uh, ln of 1 minus p, right? Making way, way outward again, we take the derivative with respect to p, and this is going to get us um, sum of xi over p minus n over sum of xi over 1 minus p, or take the derivative again, and that gets us negative sum of xi over p squared and minus n minus sum of xi over 1 minus p squared, right? Now, finally, you can plug that back in here. So that's negative expected value with respect to x of negative sum of xi over p squared minus n minus sum of xi over 1 minus p squared equal to expected value with respect to x of sum of xi over p squared plus expected value of n minus sum of xi over 1 minus p quantity squared, which is equal to, um, note that Expected value of xi is equal to p, so expected value of sum of xi is equal to np, right? Just plugging that in here, we have this is equal to np over p squared plus n minus np over 1 minus p squared. Cancel out p on this left one and on the right one cancel out a 1 minus p so that gets us n over p plus n over 1 minus p which is equal to n over p times 1 minus p and that is the Fisher information for a sample of Bernoulli random variables